G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing and thanks for your interest in the Christmas Island adventure. Our adventures begin at Christmas Island, which is an amazing fly fishing destination. We can chase bonefish, trevally, you can even duck outside and get tuna, sailfish, it's literally got everything on offer. We stay at our curry house because it is literally the best accommodation, the best boats, the best location and the best guides on the whole island. It's an amazing experience that as a fly fisher, you just have to do. I'll show you a few things of what you will achieve on your week as well. Christmas Island's vast array of, of sand flats. We, we get around usually on boats of various sizes and the traditional uh, style is probably one of the most comfortable boats to get around in and they can get into very shallow water. It's just a stunning location at Christmas Island and no matter which way you look, they're just stunning colors and waters. Um, it's just incredible when you see the blue sky against the various types of greens. It really is just an idyllic place to spend a bit of time. You know, there's a couple of ways to find bonefish on the flats of Christmas Island. One is just to really slowly walk um, very quietly and you will see the bonefish generally feeding up current. The other way is to get to a nice little area which will essentially have a nice little channel or something run through it and the fish will treat that as a highway. But trust your guides because they know where the fish are going to be on that particular tide. You know, it's a bit of sign language you've got to learn before you come here. Big strip, big short strip. Get it in and worry about another fish. Yep. Uh, once they realise that they're not in control, I just go back in that other direction. Christmas Island they do uh, uh, their week long trips because there's only at this stage just one flight in and out per week so an old fly from Fiji drops off here and that plane continues on to Honolulu that's a thumper <laughs> you got it? yep right there we go so we've got one we've had the teasers going there and we've had a couple of fish come up to them so you've got to just rip those teasers back out and then that fly's got to get down there. This one, you've still got plenty of go. Whoa, there he is. That is amazing. That's a belter. Absolute belter. Yep. All good. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I've got a hole in there. Yeah. Has he got it? Has he got it? Yes, he's got it. And he's got it. And he's got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. 20, we'll go 20. You always exaggerate, Simon. Especially, yeah. yeah. Yeah, round it up, never down. Anyway, we'll put it back. Thanks, mate. A ripper, absolute ripper. Very good. Thanks, mate. That's behind. Something that's him. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't know he's hooked yet. If Simon. Right, now he's. Oh, gee. 
power. You gotta love these trigger fish. Just incredible. Yep. They've either got to be strong or fast. Some of them are both. Yeah, they're, they're, they're targeted because they, you know, they're so cautious. And everything's got to be done properly to be able to get them to take. Lovely trigger. Good job. <laughs> Mustachio, we've got the little mustache. Very good. Easy. Something. Yeah, Come on. Come on. One is. Yeah! That's it. Oh, no. Here we go. And that's uh, that's tuna fishing. And then we get it on to there. And, and it's amazing how quickly the backing comes out. And he's only a little one too. But they're just powerful fish. I mean, it's just incredible power. The only thing he hasn't got written is TW Sharon on the uh, the side of that and he's pumped up to full pressure. Anyway, just ripping out there. Yeah. Sink. Yeah. There. They're good. There we go. Come on, mate. <laughs> just milk fishing. This is not bad, eh? Yeah, not very bad. good. Yeah. They're, they're up feeding on the surface and that's what gets a lot of like fly fish really excited, you know. It backs out of the water. Island, because it's so far away from everywhere, has well, there's 19 different species of birds, but some are only found at Christmas Island. Thank you. in London which is right where the boats are stored so it's very fast to get on the boat and to get on, onto the water which is where we want to be. It's an ideal setting uh, to have a look at that every morning once you wake up. The meals are fantastic, the guides are terrific and the rooms are very clean and very cool at night which is very important. We also have a bar so if you get thirsty at any time there's always somewhere to get a drink. So I've carried it's pretty well organised where you know exactly who you're fishing with, who your guides are, what time you're leaving, what boat and what you're going to target, whether it be GTs, milk fish, bone fish, or even outside. 
So you know exactly where you're going, who you're with the night before. Well, that's just some of the things you can achieve on one of your Christmas Island adventures. It's an amazing experience that you just have to do. Oh, 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 oh,